Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? Okay, uh, what we're going to be talking about today is what people are seeing and experiencing in everyday life when it comes to being of the prepared mind. People send me pictures and videos and emails, and if you would like to do so, my email is in the description box below. Okay, so this first picture was sent in by a community member. And she said, my friend just sent me this picture. Look at what Gates did. Oh, Billy boy, right? And she said, I've seen X's in the sky, but never a V. But I think the V stands for the arm candy, which is code for you know what. Please share uh, because people need to be aware of what is going on as we are looking at many shiny objects. <laughs> And this community member, she wrote in, and she said, please share with the community on how quickly things can go up in smoke. I haven't been much in the Christmas spirit this year, and like many people, we're struggling to get things done. But my nightmare started on December 15th. After eating breakfast, I had a slight stomach ache. Over the next three days, it progressed into a, a pain in my side. I had a Christmas party on the 17th, and I felt pretty good after that. I originally thought I had food poisoning. Late afternoon on Sunday, the pain kicked into high gear and I went to the hospital. I found out that not only did my appendix need to come out, but my blood sugars were over 400. Two diagnoses in a matter of seconds. By the time the surgery, they did the surgery, an hour later, my appendix had ruptured. It was laparoscopic, but they had to make an incision larger due to the swelling. The doctor also had to remove some of my colon as well. And I found out I have a partial bowel obstruction, but it gets worse. They let me come home on Wednesday, but not long after being home, I became violently ill. We went back to the ER. Apparently I caught influenza, influenza A while in the hospital. I was supposed to be readmitted, but one doctor refused to sign off on me getting a room, so I came home. My husband is the breadwinner, but I'm, I am this family's central nervous system. And the entire family is now sick with the flu that I brought home. My poor husband had tr to try to get all of my new medical supplies and everything our family needed. Plus, we were in that winter storm, so the shelves are empty. I never thought about diabetic supplies or 13 sick people all at once. Between Christmas and this winter storm, he was lost. Plus, we almost had four late bills because he had no clue that they were due. I am the prepper in the family. My family is still running around trying to find what we need. I'm so sorry. I remember speaking to you the other day uh, before your surgery and then a little bit after your surgery. But I didn't know about your colon. I had no idea. I know about your appendix rupturing because we had swapped stories about how my appendix had ruptured as well years ago. Oh boy, I'm so sorry. And now for a commercial break. And here is a, another personal SHTF from a community member. And she said, well, it happened. Christmas Eve, I got a letter and they canceled my disability and my Medicare. I have upcoming surgery and no supplemental insurance. My health has not improved at all. I paid into Social Security for 40 years. I hope the illegals enjoy all of the freebies. Those Pakistan gender studies and the Ukrainian government officials will get what Potato Joe promised. It's not hard to see who the real priorities are. I'm so sorry that this happened to you as well. Seems like 2023 is going to be the end all, doesn't it? Another community member sent me another personal SHTF. And... She said, well, it happened. Christmas Eve, I got a letter and they canceled my disability and Medicare. Wow. What? Uh, you know, 2023 is just going to be a nightmare for all of us, isn't it? 
I have upcoming surgery and no supplemental insurance. My health has not improved at all. I paid into Social Security for 40 years. I hope the illegals enjoy all the freebies. Those Pakistan gender studies and Ukraine government officials will get what Potato Joe promised. It's hard. It's not hard to see who the real priorities are. Oh, sweetheart. I am so sorry. But just know, okay, it, you know, it, this is my message to not just you and the other community member that had a personal SHTF. None of you are alone in any of this. None of you, okay? I am here with every single one of you. That's why I always tell everyone, please email me. You know, if you have, you know, something that, you know, you need to get off your chest, even if it's a rant, I don't mind, email me. Because you have to get these things off of your chest. You have to tell someone. And I want to be that person, you know, um, because I, I know, you know, that a lot of people think that they have no one to talk to, no one to turn to, that no one listens to them. That you feel like everything that you have to say, it falls on deaf ears. Well, with me, that is not true. Okay. I will always listen. And a lot of you know that I respond to your emails, especially when it comes to something like this. Um, yeah, I, I, I understand, you know, that you are now in for some turbulent times. I, I understand that. And I'm very, very sorry. Just know that you're in my thoughts and my prayers always. Every single one of you are. Okay. I'm very sorry. And now before I go, <clears throat> here is something that was sent to me by a community member or something that they found. And, you know, it, it has to do with, uh, you know, the fact that, you know, people are asking for, you know, $25 an hour while working in fast food and yada, yada, yada. Well, instead of people now being paid $25 an hour, now you're looking at uh, <laughs> robots serving you. So here's the video, okay? Enjoy it. <laughs> And uh, that's all for today, guys. All right. I appreciate you. Okay. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless. Ciao. Here's the video.